Hi everyone, welcome to The Vegan Stew. I am Kelly, AKA The Vegan Abler, uh, and I am one of the stew crews with, uh, sorry about that. I'm one of the stew crew, and I am gonna bring in our stew for today. Our stew crew for today, we have Marla Rose with Vegan Street, hey. and Sovereign with Morale and Morning. Um, Helene should hopefully be joining us. She's just on a flight or just coming in. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we'll, uh, if she joins us, we'll, we'll give thanks to the specific um, sponsors for this month. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, she's, she's entering um, festival season. So she's often in the air, Helene. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, you should definitely check out some of, I, I think it's like vegfest.org or something like that. She has, Helene and her partner, Stephen, have, I don't know, I'm going to probably exaggerate it, but like dozens of festivals that are happening primarily in the South. And um, you should check them out because they sound like fun. For sure. <laughs> what she does is amazing. <laughs> I don't know how she does so many festivals in such a short period of time, but it's fun and extremely it's tiring just from what we know. About no, I know. Yeah, we did one in Chicago for 10 years and it about killed us, but we were all volunteers. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I think when you dedicate, you make it your profession, it's like a different mindset. We were for all sure. <laughs> For sure. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, none of the other stew crew can uh, join today. Everyone's really, really busy as we go into summertime. Um, so uh, what is our topic today? Is it the trolls? Um, trolls, how to deal with them, how to, deal with trolls. to repel them, how to make peace with them, how <laughs> to do whatever with them. <laughs> so, like, yeah. Um, well, Marla, you probably deal with the most trolls out of anyone here. So maybe we should start with you and how you approach trolls. Well, it depends on the troll situation specifics. Um, but we do have, uh, like with so veganstreet.com, my personal page, I, I keep it to, um, it's not a public, my Marla Rose Facebook page is not public. Uh, no, it is public, but not everyone can comment. Just friends can comment. But on Vegan Street, in order for our content to be seen, you know, it's not a private group. So it's a public uh, page. And um, so we do attract our fair share of trolls and we get both vegan and non-vegan trolls, strangely enough. Um, so the vegans will typically... Um, come after us if they think we're not being vegan enough for whatever reason. And then the non-vegans will come after us for any number of reasons. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's kind of interesting because um, <clears throat> when the non-vegan trolls come at us, it's always, it always seems to be like a whole swarm of them at once. So I, I suspect what happens most often is that they one of them posts in a group, hey, let's go bother these annoying vegans over here. Because they all come at once. Um, it often is on fairly innocuous posts that you wouldn't necessarily expect it on. And like I said, just one after the next, often saying this variations of the same kind of boring thing. And uh, so my way is I don't have a cut and dried you know, approach that, you know, unfor the unfortunate thing is like, sometimes I, I um, may delete comments from people who are on our side, but I just don't have the time to discern, you know, what's going on. If they're hateful comments, they immediately get blocked and deleted, you know. Um, if it's something, something very comical, uh, unintentionally usually, <laughs> I will keep the post because it's an opportunity for the vegans to let off some steam at them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't necessarily have a, um, a cut and dried, this is what we do. Uh, I do not want them to take over posts though. So like at a certain point, I may limit the audience of who can comment 
on it because they will take over. They've got nothing but time seemingly. So, um, and that's the other aspect of it is I feel like our time is our greatest resource and um, that a troll's operating agenda often is to try to waste your time to try to, you know, say this or say that to keep you hooked on uh, a trolling, you know, distraction. So at a certain point, I just cut, you know, cut them loose and let them go. But um, yeah, so I don't really have a hard and, you know, cut and dried path, but I don't allow abusive, you know, toward me or toward anyone. So that's my thing. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's me, quite, oh, go ahead, Sovereign. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna ask you how, oh. how you deal with trolls. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I read them for filth. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I will I will throw shade when shade needs to be thrown, mm -hmm. because you are projecting unnecessary hate. Mm -hmm. Um, you either projecting it, you you get it from non vegans, you get it from vegans. I don't know you know, who ruin their day or whatnot, but there are more important things in the world today than to attack us mm -hmm. and the fact that we are for rights of sentient be beings and love to eat plants. Mm -hmm. Like, did someone screw up tofu for you so bad that you gonna come and target us? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. I don't know what beef you have with beans. The pun was not intended at all. <laughs> it's like really kind of kind of think about what matters. Don't do it. your your aggression is completely misplaced. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you're going to come across all types of vegans. You have ones that are very militant. You have ones that are very um, unfortunately don't see that if you're a vegan, you're a vegan for not just those of us with two legs, those of us with four legs. You're a vegan for anything and everything mm -hmm. because anything and everything that is breathing, that is living, that is bringing life, it has a right to be here. Again, except cockroaches. But you have to, all jokes aside, I mean, I don't, I don't know why you think getting your rocks off by hurting people is, is, yeah. It used to be very hurtful. Now I'm just like, you know, yawn. Yeah. Throw something else at me that you think I have. Yeah, yeah. Before. <laughs> it's just like, it just, it's tiresome. It's so puerile so, in yeah. middle school that it's just like the idea that I have to debase myself to even, you know, entertain the stupidity of what the person just said is, you know, yeah, I do sometimes have to look at it like though. Um, I'm sorry if I interrupted. Um, a lot of times the people coming after us are from like the dairy in industry, even though they're not admitting that they are. And you know, they're like, dairy does the body good, blah, blah. you know. And I, I know that they're suffering because they're seeing how the industry is declining and declining and declining, and they're just kind of punching out, you know. Um, so while I don't agree with what they do and often what they say, almost always what they say, I try to hold some compassion that they're like coming from a place of being very threatened. Um, so I don't know. Why, I kind of try to factor all that in. Why are you? Why are you threatened by nut by by nut milk? Why? Why are you threatened by alternative sources of protein that don't harm a soul? Why are you threatened by the fact that can you seriously look at your dog or your cat and say, I want that on my plate? I mean, <laughs> you know, have that same type of thinking in regards to a cow, a lamb, deer, things like that. It's one thing to have to hunt for necessity as cultures do. That's why I will never look at a culture as me being from Nigeria. You know, we there are ceremonies where cows or 
um, or goat. It is in traditional dishes or it is for specific ceremonies and celebrations. That is cultural. It has been there, not just starting, but before me, before, you know, way, 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 way back. Same thing with a lot of other indigenous cultures. I don't touch that area because it's not, right. it's not for me to speak on other, other indigenous cultures. And I wouldn't want someone coming and attacking me and my culture because there's a reason behind it. We don't just go to and slaughter. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just, I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, let's go on a vegan page and attack. While as of right now, like Africa is splitting into two continents. Mm -hmm. But yeah, how dare you ban? Yeah. Like, it's like, I, global warming, like what's happening with all these trans, mm -hmm. like, just priorities. Priorities <laughs> are non-existent, just non-existent. I think that the reason why they're doing it, like like you're saying, Sovereignty, like why are you so threatened by the fact that we eat plants? It, it, people know what veganism means. When you are an ethical vegan, it's morals, it's ethics, mm. it's doing it's trying to be just a little bit better. And they know that mm -hmm. because they don't want to do that. And most yep. people who are vegan, right. they don't want to be. Not mm -hmm. that they can't, not that whatever. They just don't want to, you yeah. know, or societal pressure, whatever. Mm -hmm. Because they know that. That is why they troll because mm -hmm. they, they right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in a kind of a uniquely provocative position because we're trying to model a more compassionate way of living, and we're you know deeply passionate about what we do because we think we know that we could you know save the planet you know if more people adopt it. So I think that there is like this, um, what's difficult is whenever somebody gets on a health kick or whenever somebody tries self-improvement in this way or that way, there are always going to be people who infer a feeling of superiority from it. Like, oh, well, they think they're so great, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> and with us, we are doing this vegan thing and we're not going to be quiet about it and mind our own business about it because we need to advocate for the animals and for the planet. So that's where I think the, the, uh, the challenge comes in because normally people associate that with superiority and condescension. And even if you mind your own business about being vegan, just being vegan is an irritant to a, a good portion of society. Um, so it's like, it's, it's kind of a difficult situation to be in and uh, communications wise, you know, we, it's just um, because part of what we take on by being vegan is I'm going to advocate, you know, either, either passively or actively, you know, for the animals, just being vegan in an office is an advocacy position, whether you say anything or not, you know? So um, it's kind of like you're damned in any way, you know, even if you're the quote unquote good vegan, who's <laughs> not superior, not judgmental and all that stuff, there will still be people who are going to imply all kinds of stuff from the fact that you're vegan. So, yeah. All the time, all the time. <laughs> and I love, like, I love my friends who who are not vegan. But when I, when they make a comment to me, they may end up saying, um, oh, oh, they'll say, oh, just let you know, I made something and it's not vegan. Like you don't, you don't have to tell me that. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shipping a can of paint to your house. There's not going to be any <laughs> flowers or someone coming with, you know, a what is that thing? The message to just be like, you're a target. How dare you? It's not, you know, as far as I don't have that kind of money to spend. The economy sucks, but okay, it's just unnecessary. But I, yeah. <laughs> 
you don't have to, <laughs> yep, you don't have to, um, to worry. And it also, it comes, I think sometimes it's like, and I, I, I don't mind saying, you know, they understand. And I always will make comments like, you know, just like, um, you know, anything that you can eat, we can eat vegan, but I'm not going to attack you. Mm -hmm. I can help. I'm, and I'm not going to be, um, as I like to throw around, because that was the big thing that you get. If you're vegan, you're bougie. No, <laughs> there's nothing bougie about caring about your health. I'm not shoving it down your throat. If you're questioning, or if I see someone who is maybe, just living, yeah, just living, and I get really excited when I see someone going through the aisle, um, yes. especially people of color <laughs> who are, in, you know, are interested in exploring. Oh, I just get excited because they you can tell that they want to know more or they want to try, but they may not know. And so I will stand there and I'm just like, hi, you know, just to give any input or saying, you know, yeah. I've tried this. It's great. You know, if, if you like this and this in terms of sometimes going by flavor palettes, that really, you know, it could be a really great conversation oh, because you're not like, well, get that instead of this. You'd be like, oh, this is similar to this and try it. It's something different. You don't know. They may or may not take what you said, but. You're not, you know, it's and to 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 share yeah. is a good thing. Not we are our as vegans, we're here to share. We're here to educate. We're here to enlighten. We're not here to shove. We're not here to make you angry at us because we are no better than what they are. It's yeah. vegans can be trolls, just like non-vegans can be trolls. Yeah. We have to not be change the face or change the game of what people see vegans as because once they hear you're vegan they immediately get angry because they may have had an experience or we are painted in the media as being super militant and throw you know and i'm not saying that militant vegans aren't good they are needed you need the entire gambit in terms of mm -hmm. you know so but unfortunately sometimes how we have been perceived in media Mm -hmm. makes it that we are just specifically one kind. Right. And, and apparently just dead set on converting, 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 yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just, we'll speak out because yeah. areas and what we are, what we are passionate about, which we're passionate, compassion, we are dead set on that because it is needed. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to budge. It, so. it, it is really frustrating, though, with this like 500 pound gorilla you know, or the elephant in the room, I guess. Um, I mean, how many times and how many ways can we talk around the facts of climate change and like try to appeal to someone's ego, try to placate them, try to make them not stressed, try to, you know, um, compliment them, try, you know, but like what the reality is we need to turn things around like immediately. And also we're very passionate about this and we love being vegan. And I think sometimes that's mistaken as, um, Happy. Yeah, of, of being pushy, mm -hmm. you know, um, like I remember when I had my son and, you know, we were it was like 2002, I guess. Yes, it was. <laughs> and um, I, I nursed him. And that was like at, it, during a time when a lot of people were starting to breastfeed again instead of, you know, formula feed. And not that I'm opposed to formula feeding, but I felt like when I um, nursed my son, it helped me get back into my body and helped me feel empowered again after a very difficult delivery. And so when I would see pregnant people, I was like, oh, and I'm sure it was totally mistaken as obnoxious and it probably was but I was like, are you planning to breastfeed? Please, because <laughs> you'll get back in your body. You'll feel so good. Yeah, blah, blah. but I think sometimes that vegan advocacy is like that in the sense that we found this thing that we're so excited about and so happy to have. Yeah, you know, like to me, like be being vegan is one of the best, if not like the top three things that I've ever chosen in my life. You know. Um, it may be the top two things. <laughs> the other is dating the nice guy, you know? Um, <laughs> so 
I just feel like it's difficult to talk about it with people without their them getting their hackles raised. And I so, we, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, I just uh, Bree is, uh, hi, Bree. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Bree is <laughs> agreeing with what we're saying. <laughs> Um, but I, I just want to touch upon what Sovereign said briefly, because Sovereign said, like, we're just trying to live our lives, right? You know, and we we are. But I feel like we're we're in a, like, it's almost like a lose-lose situation, because, like, there's people who, because the majority of the world live a certain way, and we're the exception, right. we, you know, here we are, and, you know, we yeah. should work with our vegan meal, but, like, that itself is just threatening, whereas people show up with their non-vegan meals, and it's normal, yeah. right? <laughs> You know, but like we could literally just show up with our meal, not say anything, just right. say it, and just that act of being in the presence right. of a vegan is enough to activate. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. And um, I do feel like, um, you know, I think that most of us on this do uh, try really hard to counteract the natural defensiveness that people seem to have about us, you know? Um, but at a certain point, you've just put it out and you know you've made it clear with yourself that you're not being aggressive and you're not being obnoxious and you're just living your life. You just have to, you know, chalk it up that that person is going through something that likely has to do with guilt and defensiveness, you know, and it's not about you. And one of the things that I do try to do, though, like when I see a vegan on our page being obnoxious is I, I do try to call them out on it. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like a week or two ago, we had uh, posted um, a meme we'd created a number of years ago about like, uh, packing a, a vegan uh, picnic basket. Like these are different components that can go in a great vegan picnic basket. And mm. so some raw foodist, fruitarian type of person had to say, um, <clears throat> and it, it was things like Miyoko's, you know, back when, you know, Miyoko's <laughs> um, or Dave's Killer Bread or whatever. It was like small brands. Uh, it was not like freaking Nabisco, whatever. And somebody had to comment like, where's the fresh fruit? Even though there was fresh fruit yeah, we displayed in the, but it was just like, I just, you know, I had to, I had to say, you know, and I, like, I think at that point of my week, I had kind of reached a, a limit of dealing with obnoxious people and she was just rude. And uh, I, so I just said, you seem nice. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> you seem really nice and judgmental. And, um, <laughs> and she came back and was like, well, you're an Oreo cookie vegan or you're an Oreo vegan, whatever the hell that means. And I was just like, Do you see Oreo? Oh <laughs> She's just like, she doesn't know me. I haven't. I can't eat Oreos. I can't eat gluten. <laughs> but like, uh, whatever. But the point is just that um, I need to, I feel when someone like that shows up, I feel like I need to intervene and show to the world that not all vegans act like this. There are a lot of people who are trying to get into it and are afraid of making missteps and are afraid of being publicly chastised because they didn't realize this or that about something. So I just... I feel like it's really important to step in when somebody is acting like that, you know? My face through your entire telling of the story <laughs> was literally like, where's the fruit? I'm like at the store, go buy it and you can join us. Okay. Right. Go right. ahead, contribute, you know. Right. Let's just always it. like, you're you welcome know? to make your own memes. You're yeah. welcome. Like, if you don't like what you see, totally. here, make your own. Where's you know, the fruit? Like, I feel like it is. Here's a list. You know, it's like to the point of like, I don't think that you your comments are we don't have time for my the Oreo comment. My nine and ten year old can come up with better. The dog, our border collie is here. It can bark something better or stare at you. I'm like, are we at it's it's there 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 comes there comes a time when they really try so hard to push your button and antagonize you. And what will happen is we, we try our best to make sure that when we are 
calling them out, yes, in a way that is not going to like stir because they're wanting drama to poke. That's what they want. Right. They they're want eating a lot of that. That's the yeah, yeah. That they can go ahead and screenshot themselves. But right. if you catch me at the wrong time and date and I'm stressed, I'm not going to. I learned from my mom, mm -hmm. which it was funny as I was growing up, because when I was growing up, my friends in high school were like, your mom is like, <laughs> your mom is like an African posh spice. And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get what that meant. She can cut you down to size in the most British pop, just, she can, it's like taking, if she was trying to, me with like sometimes no filter and short temper, but she would apply just her etiquette and just shut you down in the most proper and polite way. And I try to do that. <laughs> Throwing in as much as my little shady little comments as possible. If you continue, we will take this to a direct message away from the page and we will address it like there. And if I right. feel that you are not getting the hint, mm -hmm. take right. it I will say my, what I have to say to you and I will block you. Sometimes, it's okay to do so, yeah. to call someone out. It For is sure. sometimes not needed to, I'm not saying, you know, like come across and stoop to their level because they want that, but you don't have yeah. to at all times say, okay, well, thanks for your opinion, but we're gonna know because they're gonna continue not on your page, they're gonna do it to exactly. someone else. And exactly. they'll continue that cycle because they don't think that they're going to be challenged. Yeah. So I totally agree. And I feel yeah. like sometimes they literally, like, I don't want to get too graphic and gross, but I feel like they literally get off on it. <laughs> you know, like, like yeah. yeah. When do you so, know it's when you hit that threshold? Like, I'm yes. going, like, this person is, mm -hmm. you know, unteachable. Like, yeah. they're, you know, they're clearly, yeah. it's, you know, I, I think there is this point of diminishing returns at like at a certain point you're kind of trying to ascertain at the beginning, like some people reveal themselves right away and gone blocked, you know, whatever delete. And other times they may be a little, a little sneakier about it. You know, uh, I mean, sometimes they are legitimate with legitimate questions and stuff like that. But like, I think when I remember reading this something, I'm not going to get it factually correct, but there's, there is something to the effect of like, if you're having four or more interactions with someone on a particular topic and it's going nowhere, it's not going to go anywhere. You know, th this is like, you're, you're falling into uh, a void, uh, you know, it's pointless, you know, and I think everyone determines for themselves when <clears throat> diminishing returns has, you know, for me, I just, I don't have a ton of time and I'm not going to waste it on someone who's like taking over, trying to take over my platform. You know, it's just like, create your own thing, draw people there and rant about vegans. Don't you, you don't have access to my platform, you know, or, if it's a raw foodist vegan who's angry with us because of junk food or whatever, um, then go post about that on your page, get your two likes and go on with your day, you know? Yeah, that applies to them. That applies to the fitness vegans, LNSI, because she's awesome. <laughs> that, um, it applies to Hotep vegans mm. because those are the ones that I've had the mm. most counters with which ones oh we call them hoteps 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 and i'm putting it out there so hotel vegans are vegans within the african-american community that are very much just followers of dr sadie oh dr. Sadie. yeah oh, yeah he knows everything this is not because if just so people will know this is not any hate towards them but right. a lot of times they can be very hateful and rude and demeaning themselves. Um, he's, you can, it, it can be a lot. I leave, I'm not a part of those groups. Mm -hmm. I'm not a part of, I was a part of uh, raw food groups. Mm -hmm. Freely came on, I uh, left. Mm -hmm. um, 
I was a part of when I started going raw mm -hmm. um, for Fully Raw Christina. For people who like her, that's fantastic. But it was comments that I would get or I would make something, like I've seen something, and then I would make my own version of it. And then you would have people who are just adamantly that like she's the face of mm -hmm. leaving rude messages on IG. Mm. And I'm like, I don't, I don't understand why you are, you're looking at the, the outer, you're judging a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. That's not our mission. We you can, you can't wear the shirt that shows who you are as a vegan and say oh, only compassion towards animals, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not people who are vegan who may not dress like you mm -hmm. or be maybe the same music or art or things like you. Right. Or you dedicate make... their whole lives to fitness and yeah. Yeah. My, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, diversity expands everything. It expands everything. It helps all of us grow. My best friend from high school, hippie mm -hmm. as they come, then me, the limo kid. <laughs> it's like, boop. but we didn't look at each other because of that. We loved each other. And uh... she helped introduce me to veganism. And we still talk to this day. You know, we're like, we're you were like um, Wednesday and her roommate. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very much so. Um, <laughs> no, but I think that that's true. And it's like what has come to pass is all of these, like, like I don't care. what someone i i mean it sounds so it sounds so cliche but i really honestly don't care what someone looks like i don't care about this or that regarding their you know like they say again and again and again this is how they bring people into veganism and i was vegan long before that so it's just not my thing at all it never has been but i do find it interesting that the same people that I kind of distanced myself from, the ones who are making these outlandish claims about veganism, giving you like immortal life and a flat stomach and looking 30 years younger than you are, all these things, they followed um, a very predictable trajectory when COVID came um, of false information, of disinformation, of ridiculous claims. Um, uh, so I think that sometimes your instincts are right with distancing yourself from folks of that nature, you know? Um, and I know that's kind of, a, you know, far afield from the trolling conversation, but I think it is about the company we keep. We deserve to be discerning not every vegan needs to be amplified by you at all. Yeah. You know, there are some like, I mean, you were mentioning fully raw Christina sovereign and I don't know much about her personally, but I do know that, you know, she had a, a extensive interviews with someone who's known to be promoting Nazi views. Um, yes. And he was known at the time to be promoting uh, um, white supremacy so yeah i found out some things that completely yeah so i mean i think we are the company we keep right and 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 we even if we're not literally their company we're the people we promote you know yeah it's good to have ethics mm -hmm. and um, um and to stand by those and it doesn't make you better than anyone because you have those set ethics and morals mm -hmm. it it's great to find people who are like mind mm -hmm. but like mind in their own maybe way yeah like version or something like that you know that are able to help to show others and share with others in the ways that they see fit Mm -hmm. It gets so interesting because when you do get people that troll, for me, being queer, you hear it all. Being a person of color, you hear it all. I've, I've gone through abuse. I've heard it all. So there, <laughs> it's not a moment where you crack, but you're just like, all right, we'll bring it. Right. And then you're yeah. just like, you know, either I'm going to shut you down 
or I'm going to block you because you're affected by mental health. And when people troll, they are bullying. And I, I've experienced bullying all my life. So it can bring up things. And you don't need that with the weight of everything that's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're trying to advocate and fight for those. We're advocating and fighting for animal rights, for immigrants, for women, for LGBTQIA, for trans non-binary, for um, all marginalized groups, for the disabled, for just, we're fighting just for existence, for the climate, for the world, and you're like, you're gonna explode. And then you're, you're trying, you get so bombarded by that, trying to deal with that, and then your personal things, what are you dealing with? I had two little ones that are special needs. So I'm dealing with their care and making sure that I do everything and everything I can yeah. for them on a daily basis, very one-to-one. -one. You want to come on my page, right. crack a stupid ass joke about beans or attack us for eating them. I suggest you take several seats back yes. or I yeah. will, you don't, you don't want the smoke. Period, because it's <laughs> stupid and it's childish, and you have to prioritize what right. needs to be the focus. You yeah. can engage Absolutely. or not engage. That for mental health purposes, sometimes yeah. it's better just to block. Don't mm -hmm. even. Totally agree, and I think that's totally up to the person. And you know, like if if I was hasty here or there, so be it. You know, I think we're all trying to safeguard the small amount of serotonin serotonin we might have <laughs> what's that what's that well what's serotonin i want some serotonin i know you were saying serotonin but i was like oh yeah 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 serotonin yeah um, <laughs> i think having our energy uh dissipate you know like having it drained and I like it literally does feel like a draining experience yeah. by these energy vampires, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that it just, they're, they're not deserving of it. And it's really important to look at yourself in these situations, like a kind mother, like what does Sovereign need right now? What does Marla need? What does Kelly need? Kelly needs peace. Sovereign needs to be able to to speak her truth, Marla needs to uh, just not have to worry about being attacked. So, looking at yourself in a nurturing and kind way when you're dealing in the like, you don't owe anyone anything. You don't owe anyone, especially not people in bad faith who are strangers who are trying to trip you up and are trying to make you feel bad you owe them nothing. And I think sometimes because we are advocates, because we are in that mindset, we may look at it like, okay, well, I have to take this on because, you know, I have to be a good vegan. I have to try. I have to, you know, mm -hmm. it's important to remember how many bad faith actors there are out there, you know, they yeah. really, truly, literally get off on this shit, you know? Yeah. So so I have a question. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how many people manage either of your pages. Um, Just but, me. <laughs> okay. And yeah. if they didn't want to say there's more, you know, but like for our vegan Dungeons and Dragons page, mm -hmm. and it's me and my husband, and we're complete opposites on how we oh. tackle trolls. Ray mm -hmm. loves to debate. I will <laughs> I don't even give them the opportunity. If I see a comment, even if I think like they may be open to listening, I just won't. If it's a negative comment, off it goes. <laughs> if I miss I it for like Ray sees a notification yeah. before, he would like jump right in. I I just it there because he's got a little thing going, right? <laughs> so I, I, like how how it happens to me, you know. I mean, like sometimes I feel like because my husband will sometimes like we are the two admins of you know, he will sometimes pop in and he, he's either much more naive or much more kind than I am, you know. He doesn't spend a lot of time in here, so he doesn't know all the different little maneuvers always. He takes people at what they say. 
So I'll just have to jump in like, John, this person has gone back and forth with you 25 times about like stupidity here. So he, like I said, he's not often there, but like I said, he has a more trusting, you know, response to trolls. And I'm kind of more like, I feel like, and I could be wrong. And if I am, I hope they reach out to me and ask me what, but like, um, I am just, much more cutthroat about like just mm. wasting my time, wasting my time, wasting my time, you know? Yeah. So like, I, I do feel like the smarter ones know that we're inundated with like bad faith arguments and they will come in and say, this is a genuine question. If they, if they go that far, I will usually hear them out and maybe engage a little bit, you know? So mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I want to clarify that this is my comments are from my experiences mm -hmm. with particular vegans. And I've gotten it from all types of vegans. Mm -hmm. So I don't want for any particular person who's watching or listening to think it's an attack on oh, the sure. entire group. But also, I shouldn't bite and shouldn't have to bite my tongue because these are who I experience. And other people can connect because they have more than likely had similar mm -hmm. experiences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can be one to, or two that can shut, leave a bad taste yeah. in the mouth. And then when you have other vegans that don't address it, mm -hmm. it makes it worse. So right. I just wanted to go ahead and clarify that. Um, so no one stop, you know, starts blowing up Pauline's, you know, inbox with you know being upset. <laughs> we have to really be able to freely state what we have experienced because we can't talk on a topic if we don't have stories to tell. Right. And don't want to go ahead and call out. Um it could connect with somebody else. And this is a very big and great topic within mm -hmm. the trolls of any kind. Because as someone who I my my fellow co-host, you guys are women, I am femme presenting currently, and Kelly and I are both queer. Mm -hmm. We get it a lot. It's it's not and for it, it it literally between all of us, we can't sit here and be like, oh, we've only experienced right. one type of troll. No, because we're marginalized some of us have disabilities we are from certain communities we are color like we get it all from every sure. aspect every angle mm -hmm. and it's like i always say fight your pick your battles mm -hmm. you know, yes you know pick your battles That's so you important yeah it's whatever so you just kind of knock off because people are being stupid go 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 do some grounding Right. Take your shoes off, go outside, and put your feet in the grass. Take okay. a walk. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like the people who do that have nothing at stake. Like they're they're able to be carefree and loosey goosey about their silly little, you know, trolling efforts because they their necks aren't on the line, you know. And this is part of why I take the QAnon shit so personally is because it is so linked to anti-Semitism. You cannot dig into it with even the, I mean, just the, the most shallow understanding of it. Mm -hmm. You will see the links to profound anti-Semitism, you know, and this mm -hmm. is not just someone making this stuff up. You know, this is, this is, centuries and centuries and centuries old stuff about um, demonizing Jewish people, literally. Mm -hmm. um, and it's deadly mm -hmm. and it's um, life-threatening. And um, I just, I take it extremely seriously. So like when I see someone spouting QAnon stuff or talking about cabals, cabal is literally, you know, um, literally connected to Judaism through the, the word Kabbalah, you know, um, 
the, this the, the tropes about the shadowy figures and um yes you got the controlling of the media yeah exactly yeah. so i like i i like what you're talking about like the thing about being jewish is it's not visible you know mm -hmm. i i can skate by in life and not have people bother me about it you know, I, I, um, I'm I not a person of color in the way that you are sovereign. So I feel like um, it's like a sneakier, like people can maybe say this stuff around me and not mm -hmm. realize, you know, who they're saying it to. And like, I would hope everyone would care about this. You know, I would hope that everyone would give a shit, you know, but yeah. some of our, our biggest speakers in the vegan movement, one in particular, I'm thinking of, I don't even want to say his name because he's so upsetting to me is he's just constantly posting and he's like Mr. Peace, P E A C E um, posting stuff about, you know, the shadowy figures who want you to, t you know, that the, basically just say the word Jew, <laughs> say it. <laughs> um, and I feel like we need to be on it, you know, um, because I do feel it is deadly. <laughs> These are like we see in this country how quickly. Mm -hmm. Really scary times, you know, um, oh. I even noticed like with the vegans um, who are all into that, yeah. I, mean, I definitely see the anti-Semitism connection, but I don't know why I was shocked when I saw this, yeah. but there's like a few vegans in particular locally here mm -hmm. that I was like, I'm just going to go on their page and just have a look. Mm -hmm. And they are so anti-trans and- hey. And these are, this is someone who is in the LGBTQ community posting the most like disgusting anti-trans stuff. Um, I was just like, I was do you, shocked. Do you right? know their, their phrase, the QAnon thing, I think it's called like, where we go one, we go all. Yeah. I think it's kind of similar. Like when we believe one of these things, we believe all of these things. For sure. You Absolutely. know what I mean? It's just like, if I'm buying this, I'm buying this, this, yep. this, 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 you know, it's, it's terrifying. Because it must all be true. If I believe yeah. this one outrageous thing, then all outrageous right. and, must and, be true. Everything right. is... Yeah. Yes, and the Republicans have done a remarkable job uh, of creating an environment where nothing is true. So everything is true. You know, there is no objective reality anymore. Yeah. Thanks to them. So, yeah, this question, question. For, for, for both of you, for your pages, have you ever not posted something that you wanted to post, like out of <laughs> fear of? Not out of fear, mm -hmm. but just, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. just not like, just not wanting I, to deal with it. Yeah, like you know, this is this is gonna blow up, and I'm just like, I'd rather not, because <laughs> we have uh, mm -hmm. a few times. Yeah, we were like, yeah, this I is probably. Had to, <laughs> to pull back several times, and then uh, either not post it at all, put it in drafts, or change the wording. And um, yeah, sometimes it's like, well, we're not gonna have as many likes or responses or the algorithm's gonna push it through. And it's like, it's not for the algorithm to push through. It's not, that's not the point. Right, 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 the right, right. I'm gonna see it. And I yeah. posted what needs to be said. Um, I'm very vocal right. about every single aspect that I can be that I can speak upon because not everything I can speak upon. Um, Helene made a joke saying I'm literally the walking of everything, but that's because <laughs> I experienced it or I am that. And any way to post to let people know about anything that's egregious, that's affecting all of us in some aspects, mm -hmm. you gotta put it there. And sometimes yeah. it's, do you put it there knowing that there's going to be very, very hateful things or very 
uh, backlash mm-hmm. or comments from, you know, a holes. Mm-hmm. What does your mental state? Where is your mental state of mind? Sometimes just to hold it off, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or don't post at all, um, because you yeah. will find that there is somebody out there that's like, look, I have nothing to lose. I'll post it yeah. for you, you know, and be the biggest supporter and advocate, because people know who we are and what we stand for. You know, some of them, some people who are very per- close to us know, you know, sometimes we can't handle mm-hmm. what comes back, the backlash, the un- unwarranted comments, unwarranted things that we'll see in our feed. Yeah. And then, okay. you, know, mm-hmm. you know, I'm ready to throw bows. I got you, give it, you know, and we just have to, you know, either, either just avoid it, mm-hmm. wait reword or someone will go ahead and do it for us mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. your peace is important at the same time mm-hmm. you can't fight for the peace of others if your peace is completely right. different. i definitely do it like an energy check before i mm-hmm. uh if there's something i know is just going to be like inflammatory mm-hmm. i just say well you know i'm happy to post this but like am i also happy to deal with the comments for the next 12 hours, you know, yeah. or whatever it is, you know, and sometimes it's just, you have to weigh it all out, you know? Um, yeah. And personally, like a lot of times I'll post stuff just so that, and it won't get much engagement, but just so that we can be on the record as supporting this or that, you know? Um, and I, uh, or being opposed to this or that. Um, very rarely these days do I suppress, like I, I um, am pretty careful about the stuff that we post. You know, I try to do a good blend of light and heavy. Um, and, you know, let the chips yeah. fall where they may. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, but yeah, I mean, Kelly, what do you specifically, what kinds yeah. of things do you think are possibly controversial to your community? Well, for us, it's, um, I mean, we have the challenge, like, because right now I'm just focusing on the, uh, like, vegan dungeons and dragons. And, and because we're going to be creating like a non-violent gaming project. Awesome. Uh, so it, it's like we're challenging a fantasy world mm. where people bring this reality into a fantasy world. And that's where we get a lot of the trolls come. Like, that's where like, is this a joke? Is like kind of the, the gatekeeper in like Dungeons and Dragons don't make sense, right? Like, right. why not? right? There's gods that are gods of peace, gods of animals. Like, why not? Like, we, you know, we've researched this, right? But more importantly, like, it's fantasy. You can right. do whatever you want, right? We can take a gatekeeper type. It just bothers them, right? Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because, so, like, so some of the, when we get trolls, and we really luckily don't get a lot, they either like, just, they just don't come to our page. Um, but the few ones that we do, like, Ray's actually really good at because, like I said, Ray's the one who does like <laughs> it, and um, and he'll he'll challenge it like, okay, so um, because the game is sort of based off of middle age, you know, mm-hmm. middle ages from medieval times, like they didn't have massive slaughterhouses, so you know, you're saying, oh, you couldn't be vegan in the middle ages because that's just impossible. So then we're like, okay, so you're against like factory farm meat, you know, like, so we like, <laughs> into this fantasy game and they just don't know how to, it just blows their mind sometimes, right? right. They just don't know how to respond. And Ray, Ray is like, I can nerd out with you as long as you want. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, totally. He goes into these pages and posts our content and he doesn't have to do anything. I mean, so he's kind of a troll. I mean, he's not trying to be a troll. He's trying to get a conversation trying started. Get, yeah. In, insert ourselves into this community to say, we have a right to be here. Right. We're exactly. creating content. You know, we know our stuff. And, but we're also like promoting a game where, you know, we're challenging the way that this game is played and trying to do it without resorting to killing. Right. And, 
and he can like, so he'll just do a post. And, and if a moderator actually then lets our post get on in the first place, mm-hmm. he just has to step back because people will debate amongst themselves. Mm-hmm. Some people will come to, you know, to defend us, not to defend us personally, but to, you know, defend some of the, like the real crazy stuff right. people say. Um, so, so it's interesting. Some of the stuff that we might not um, necessarily post is like probably i mean we try to like real like animal rights like sort of you know like about like the slaughter like that sort of you know like educating that just because it doesn't really make sense but mm-hmm. we do really try to keep it lighthearted and even almost a you know sort of like a poking fun sort right, of thing right, right. You know? and we we've, we've been really lucky that we've had some people who I, you know, don't feel threatened by mm-hmm. the women and will like our stuff, uh, even though they're so not. So, do non non-vegans, people. non vegans who are D and D players uh, do they feel welcomed? I think so, and you know, yeah, like we try to if they, you know, when they do comments, like you know, try to en- engage with them and um, and make them feel welcome, right? Like. I did a post about Satan wings, right? Because I wanted to introduce like what Satan. So I took this meme and, and made it D and D relative, um, right. and and then just talked about Satan. Like they can't get offended by this. Like, <laughs> don't be so sure. No. <laughs> it's like, it's like you think of someone right. post totally innocent, and then it can blow up. It didn't blow up actually. Mm-hmm. But, but you don't. You don't know. You could think one, like you said, is like super controversial. Like mm. a little of that is not a bad thing. A little controversial. Fun, and then it, it can go, yeah, totally blow up. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, I think it comes down to what you're, you know, what you're willing to invest time wise into yeah. the posts. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, there's a lot of. Um, I think that that's a whole different topic that would be really fun to talk about. But like one of my most, one of the things I dislike most in my fellow humans is gatekeeping behavior and kind of what you're describing sounds like that. It's like, well, that's not how D and D works. That's not how, you know, or that's not how a good vegan acts. And that's not, you know, um, that's not God. (laughs) You can, right. It's like the real people who do these yeah. things are not the gatekeepers. The, 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 gatekeepers. The, you know what I mean? We're like, welcome. Make it your own, you know? Um, I just think it shows, it just points to a poverty of mind. You know what I mean? Of, of mm-hmm. you know, um, just a lack of creativity and experimentation and you know yeah odd <laughs> so i know we're winding down so uh, i have a question for for both of you uh and for those that are watching that manage social media pages um mm-hmm. how do you do self care mm-hmm. after you deal with like <laughs> that day of trolls <laughs> I <laughs> I go ahead and uh, stream every single episode of Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> <laughs> right? I have been doing that as of late, especially. Um, getting just error or getting silly with the kids mm-hmm. and watching something like Teen Titans Go and just losing my mind in the best way yeah. with yeah. their giggles and happiness. Um, and then when they go to bed, I'm like, give me the Crypt Keeper, give me, <laughs> give me Tales from the Dark Side, give me anything and everything that <laughs> me a little bit of joy in my own way, where sometimes if need be, I will envision that person as a character. Be like, okay, your demise is coming. So it's it's like those little things, or or just yeah. just hang out on music or or, or the kids, or or cartoons, or just something, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. something to take away from the stupidity of that <laughs> scenario. 
to be like, all right, this is how I'm going to wind down. And it's so funny because it would be, I think I remember it would be where I would watch like the entire season of the Adams family from the 60s <laughs> or the monsters, like just, just like classic shows. I think a couple of weeks ago and after I can dealing with what I was dealing back in the past, it was like golden girls all right. day. Nice. Okay. Just, I, I can call that like comfort food, right? Yes, yeah. yes, it is the best comfort food. I love the author. <laughs> I learned try to pick up some shade, and you know how do I how, how do I shade people in the best way? <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's it's like those little things, and mm -hmm. and you know, and curling up or maybe writing, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. anything to. But believe it or not, sometimes these little encounters that you have are really good for writing either poems or songs and mm. being an artist it kind of gives a way to put that out you know how do you not don't keep it locked up in your head you don't right. want to go fix it but you don't want to keep it locked and just release your emotions that way mm -hmm. yeah so that's yeah. that's those are some methods that work for me especially if i'm not like i don't want to bake but i want to do something else you know i don't mm -hmm. want to cook um but, but, and just hugs, sometimes just hugs from the kids. I love that. We'll do it in their big eyes. Mm. And then we'll their cheeks and faces. <laughs> <laughs> the world is promising. So I, you know, I start out every day with yoga and I feel like that's really important for filling my cup, you know, um, and when the weather's nice, I take walks and try to walk as much as possible and get as many steps in as I can. Just it is such an important part of my mental health. Um, I think having a partner who can tell when I'm getting just overly invested in, in a conversation that's hurtful, having him just be like, okay, maybe you should step away <laughs> is helpful. But I also just, I keep a list on my Google docs of things that make me happy, things that boost my serotonin, um, or dopamine or whatever it is, like whether it's, um, you know, taking a walk playing with the dog, playing with the cats, um, going thrifting, um, listening to certain um, playlists, um, taking a bath, you know, like all the things. Um, I keep them all in one spot so I could be like, I'm not in the mood for that, 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 that. Okay, I could do that. <laughs> um, because I'm just like, I'm trying just to keep from drowning as I think all of us are, you know, and when things get dark and I, like it's not your average everyday troll who's gonna put me in a dark space it's like usually when i expect more of someone you know because they're vegan usually um so i just i try to not spend too much time on social media too despite appearances i really don't and I just I pop in. I pop, I don't scroll my feed. That's another thing. <laughs> too much darkness, too much depression. Um, I I post. I engage with a few, you know, like a relative few, and you know, I dip in and I dip out. You know. Um, yeah. how, how about you, Kelly? What do you What do you do to protect your, yeah, yourself? Kelly? Yeah, I mean, with everything that happened with COVID and the community and just the division and everything, I, I stopped using Facebook uh, aside from managing my pages. Um, I, we, our favorite sh show, uh, we watch it whenever we need a laugh or just to decompress or whatever is community. So that is our, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, we just love reciting it word for word. We just, we crack each other up. Well, right? and there's something so, refreshing about where you know the beginning you know the middle yeah. you know the end yeah yeah it's so it, exactly exactly mm -hmm. so we'll, yeah definitely we'll go to that or like a few other of our like go-to mm -hmm. shows like the office or, oh, I love the office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like we oh, what else is it? like uh, oh how i met your mother even though i know it's problematic now but like what is that how I Met Your Mother, like I it's just it's a go, it's just a comforting story. Yeah. Like you said we know the story, we know the characters. It's comforting. Right. That's my and, and you know what? One of the things to do too, and I try to remind myself of this and put it on my list is like, what are the things that we did before computers were widespread, before phones were <laughs> widespread? It's like take a drive, look yeah. at this, you know. Um, 
actually like mm-hmm. listen to the radio. What a throwback, you know, <laughs> you know, or just like, like I said, I can't encourage enough just to keep a list of possibilities because like I need stuff for all weather. I need stuff for when it's cold and raining and, you know, and I can't just run off and take a walk, you know? Um, so I have like stuff that costs a little bit of money, stuff that costs a little bit more stuff that's totally free. I have it all like, <laughs> you know, cause. I you know. love that idea. I yeah, love no, that. I mean, like it, it takes like, especially if you're in a dark space, you don't need to be sitting there thinking, what can I do? What can I do to feel better? Yeah. What can I do? To feel, you know, you just having a document cannot recommend it enough. It's helped me out through many times off of uh standing on the ledge the proverbial ledge you know so. thrifting is definitely for me it's like an automatic thing for me if i get really depressed i want to thrift like i don't need to buy anything i just i i just want to go thrift i just want to go be you, in went a thrift. To what? you went to what like even if i don't buy anything i just want to like be in a thrift. oh thrifting just see the, the concept of thrifting and like exactly it's I there's something it. very meditative about just going through the room. i know i know I mean, I love it. it. It truly makes me happy. I could be a multi multi millionaire and thrifting just brings me joy. Well, do you do you know? So we're at the end of our time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Helene will post next week's show uh, probably mm-hmm. by tomorrow. But does anyone know what it is? Just so people know, because I don't have my document up. What is next week's show? Oh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. (laughs) (laughs) I was hoping to give people a a a sneak preview so they can tune in. But Helene will have it up on our page by tomorrow. So then hopefully everyone will join us then as well. And we'll probably have more of the stew crew next week um, back. Uh, It's just just busy times right now. So, uh, yeah. Great so I guess we'll, I'll, 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 I'll say goodbye to everyone. I'll, yeah. Thanks so much, Sovereign. I'll, I'll do what Helene typically does. Mm-hmm. Bye, Sovereign. <laughs> Bye, Marla. Bye. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining us. And we will see you again next week. Again, thanks to our sponsors. I'm sorry I don't have the list, but. We appreciate our sponsors for keeping the vegan stew going. So thanks everyone. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.